<laughs> That's, dude, okay, I ordered dinner, uh, I ordered lunch earlier, I, had, I got my Parmesan bites, and I ate most of them while I was trying to get the recording to work, but I'm gonna take a quick break, so everybody go refill your beer or your tea or whatever, quick, it's, 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 it's break time. <laughs> okay, I'm back. <laughs> All work and no food. Oh, yeah. Whew. Are you working on anything right now? Like any cosplay or anything? I really, actually, really, really badly want to make an Inquisition banner to hang up outside my tent. Because I think that would make me less depressed about camping. Because I've been camping all summer. And it's starting to wear on me a bit. Like, I have a really fancy setup. Like, I've built things. And I've bought a bunch of stuff. And... But camping, it just wears me out, like, I don't know. And part of it's the stress of, like, being, a, part of it's the stress of being away from the internet. Because I can't get other things done from real life. I can only do, I can only do work stuff, you know? Or, like, work. It's just that way in your school that you start late, Seshu? That's really cool. I mean... You start in October? Do you go for a really long time? <gasps> You're working on a Zelda shield right now, Rodland! Ah! <laughs> that is so cool! And a Skyrim cos- Oh! Freaking- oh, Jealous! Jealous! I, I, I know- I sort of know how to start making stuff, but I really want to dress up for Comic-Con this year. Or next year, I guess. I think this one's already over, but- Wow, and Star Wars. You just, you just, you never stop. <laughs> That's awesome. I really want to do something. I want to do a cool cosplay someday. And I keep saying that every year, but I just never get around to it. I did! I did notice I hit level 20. I am freaking old. Oh my gosh. I feel, I feel like I'm leveling up very, very quickly. Uh, I did, I got the, um, you might have been ordering dinner. What did I get? I got the, I haven't gotten this yet, so I got that. Because I noticed that, because I was like, oh, it's just performing an ability combo. And then I noticed that I was actually having a really hard time getting focus. So, and I'd like to be able to use it more. So, I know, I really freaking, what would I make a cosplay of? My Inquisitor. <laughs> Which one? I don't know. Um, for a long time I really wanted to go as an assassin, right? Just because I thought the costume was so cool. And I still do. But, I don't know. I, I actually think it'd be really cool to go as my Grey Warden character, too. Um, but I also really want to do Shepard. <laughs> uh, I really want to do Shepard. That'd be really cool. I thought about doing Thane, but like, I don't know how that, I, I've seen cosplays of Thane and they just never, they look kind of more scary than any, they don't really look, they just kind of look kind of scary. So I don't know. Star Wars too, man, you just, you're all over the place. You know what you're doing. But if I did Shepard, I'd have to do like uh I mean, I have to make some legit armor with, like, um, that Warbless stuff. Shepard! I know, I would love to do Shepard. I mean, it would be, it would be legit. I went once as a very casual Commander Shepard with, like, the hoodie, you know? And I, I actually am wearing the pants. I got these black pants. And... Okay, were these like red Templars in Venatory? The elegant mode and sign is for all. I never expected to find such tranquility here. I should have been born in the country. What steps must a man must take? It says it's, um, oh, oh, okay, so it's, it's, 
Oh, it it alternates between an elegant, well-rounded script and a slanted scroll. I thought maybe it was like two different people, but it might actually be somebody's possessed. This is power from demons. I don't much about the summer from the binding. I was surprised to find so many I recognized from the circle among the Minotauri, but they talk freely of rites and rituals forbidden in the Imperium. Oh. They offer such power for so little blood, but I must not rush, tempting as it is. For have I not grown in skill and measure? Cannot draw attention to myself. Ah, we will not stay to practice binding the fade dens denizen denizens, even though it will be so easy. Binding a demon of higher power is dangerous. I am the mage of the Imperium, and I will claim my birthright. Blah, that didn't Pages work well. From a diary. Yeah, he commented on it. All right, interesting. Three, you have three months of summer holidays, but you do an internship of one month. Whoa, what? Is an animal mad at me? No, I'm definitely gonna check out your Instagram, what Rodland. Now? I wanna see it. I wanna see your Zelda shield for sure. And everything else you're working on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> frog raid, okay. <laughs> as long as you're comfortable. <laughs> I'm Rita Vane, score. Oh, okay, see, in, in the U.S., we have three months off for summer holidays, too. But we have summer, ho like, summer starts, or the holidays start, like, um, May? May, June, June, well, June, July, August. It, dep it depends on if you're in college or if you're in high school, but it's like three or four months. No, yeah, I want to see, and I like that'd be cool. Like, if, if do you put up like progress shots, Ronland? Like, of, like you know, this is where I'm at right now, currently with this one. I don't have an Instagram, but I'll look it up. <laughs> but your internship says she takes half. It takes half your break, so like you go to school, but then you do like an internship. Like an apprenticeship, maybe, or something like that? I, th I think internship is basically, yeah. You have to, like, job shadow somebody type thing. I think this is the way I came last time. Like, when I... This is, this is only the second time I've been up here, ever. But I came up away... Because I remember specifically I had Cole and Blackwall with me, and Cole, like was saying something and it apparently was mirroring what uh, uh, something Blackwall had been thinking of or something from Blackwall's past and he was like, don't do that. <laughs> okay, you, where do you come from? Because, okay, weirdly enough, I just went through the fade a little bit like, like yesterday or two days ago with my human noble and I was looking around, just was glancing around, and I looked up, and I basically saw this same statue. It was maybe a little tiny bit different, but basically it looks like a desire demon to me. And, but it was, it was in the fade. And it was, I, I, I don't remember, maybe I did, I don't know, I'm bad at remembering, but I didn't remember seeing it before. And it was next to like what looked like a Tevinter Venatori statue. And I was like, what is this? Yeah, it's just progress pictures. Freaking, that's great. I mean, that's the cool, like, it's cool to see the finished product, but it's really cool to see how people, like, go about so doing seeker. it. Your inquisition grows. It was never my inquisition, Solas. You did the brutal, thankless work of putting the wheels in motion. Do you feel no regret at letting that power pass to another? I did my part, but the power you describe was never mine to carry. I know myself, and I cannot be the leader we need. Thus, I have no regrets. 
You surprise me again, Seeker. Your opinion of me must oh be low for me to surprise you. Nice, so Cassandra! Not low, but realistic. Very few, however honorable, release power they have won. Oh, that's a good point. That is a good point. Even, and you talk with Solus way later in the game about, like, what you would do with your power or whatever. And, you know, you have the option to be like, you know, I would use it to help the world. I would use it to restore what was lost. I would, I would share the burden with my friends. And every time he has an answer that says, you know, many people have thought this and still been overcome type thing. Interesting. See, I actually, I've never really brought Cassandra around a lot, and I am really liking bringing her around because she asks really interesting questions. Like, I don't know if everybody kind of has, like, a theme, like, each character kind of has a theme for what, like, conversation topics or dialogue options they have, but Cassandra, and I don't know if it's just who I brought her with. I brought her with Dorian and, and Solas a lot. She asks them really good questions. Oh, hey, we haven't seen the Red Templars in a while. Ah, <laughs> you fell. Oh, that was. I actually meant to get that guy. Whoa, that was a combo! Nice! Cassandra looks so cool when she's fighting! have to work in professional firms no matter the place it could be in another country it's very that's a really good idea because um if you're if you're in high school or like a high school type thing or like a college university type thing like getting actual real world experience is invaluable also it kind of gets you a foot in the door like you you're working with a company you're doing your internship with them and you have a higher chance of getting hired on with them when you've graduated let this game be thrown over your head. Oh! So all the dwarven ruins out here must be from Fariel because he decided to build on the surface after his after his creations were abused down below in Orzammar or in the Tigs, I guess. Oh, sorry, Fox. No, I like that's a that's a much more realistic way of, of doing. I think schooling is it's it's a much more tenable, feasible, good idea. Because otherwise, you just have all this theory in your head, and you're like, well, that's nice, but no one's gonna hire me because you don't have any work experience. That's a huge complaint for I think I don't know if it's for it might just be mainly for America. If you guys are just if you guys are doing better schooling over there where you get actual experience. But, you know, it's like, yeah, like, companies want you to have two or three years of experience, but you can't get that experience unless you get hired for something, and it's just, it's a vicious cycle. I was very lucky. I got a job pretty soon after I graduated, and I was, I was incredibly lucky. Ashley's back! You're all, you're all clean and shiny now. Yeah, Cassandra has a good look on life. Not too much chantry, but very loyal. She does. She sees outside the box. And I think, I don't know, I think in, I don't know, that one conversation we, I had with Solus as a human noble, I think he was kind of underestimating her. But, I don't know. It's interesting, though, because you find out, right, that later on that Cassandra basically has a spirit of faith in her. She's you know, and then you've got Cole with compassion and Solus as wisdom and pride. Um, I really like, I would like to take those three out more often. I think they would be a f an interesting group. You study the video game section of your school? Oh my gosh! Oh, you're so lucky! You did an internship at the fire station and in a gaming store, Ronland? Awesome! Oh, you guys are... That's so cool! Oh my gosh. 
I mean, I don't know. Like, I, I'd say that, like, I don't know. I'm really into the academic application of video games. Like, I, I that was actually my senior thesis for my bachelor's degree. It was this huge thing on, like, you know, just a certain aspect of video games that I took out, that I, or that I was analyzing academically. I don't know if I would so much be into making video games. I really wanted to do video game writing for a long time. But at the same time, I'm like, I just enjoy, I really just enjoy playing them. And like analyzing them and like, you know, seeing what parts work and what I don't, I don't want to be a critic or like a reviewer. I'm, I'm literally more into the academic side of like analyzing video games as like a medium of culture type thing and transference and stuff. I don't know. That fox is like booking it. <laughs> video games. Oh, you dream to work with Bioware? Mm hmm. I, and that was my thing, is I wanted to work with Bioware, but then I was like, but then I would never be able to play their games. <laughs> if I write for them, I can't play the games. <laughs> so, so there's that. <laughs> but I wish you luck. I wish you big, huge, much luck. I mean, I was reading the other day that apparently, like, they've got, they've got people working on Mass Effect Andromeda that played the original Mass Effect ten years ago and were just originally fans of the series. And now they're working for Bioware, and I'm like, what? Oh, you want to be an art designer for video games? Ah, oh, that would be amazing. Dude, you could be, like, a costume designer, you know? Like, you can, there's, like, so many parts of video, there's so much that goes into video game production, like... This, there's like sound design, there's coding, there's there's the art, there's writing, and and you have to know so much like about art and about like styles and and writing and story building. It's all about world building, and Bioware does that exceptionally well. And I mean, like hands down, I think are one of the best in, if not the best, in the field right now of create of world building in a video game, because they they pay attention to the little details, so like the sound or like the just like little text entries, like they know so much about like things that don't necessarily you wouldn't think, oh, you need to know that to be a video game writer, but they do. They know these things, and are able to create a more like well-rounded world because of it graphic designer that too oh yeah totally like i to see a video game come to life in your hands has to be an incredibly rewarding experience because as a medium like books and movies are both pretty passive experiences in some ways like you you don't really uh, your perception affects them but you can't like change the outcome of the story with your actions type thing that's why I love video games. Like, I, I was an English major, I'm an anthropology major, and video games are just, they're an interactive story that are just, it's just, they're amazing. They're, they're fantastic. What is that? Oh, there's a shard right next to my tent. It's like making a 60-hour movie, except it, except it's not just people don't just passively observe. Like, a movie you just passively observe, really, you know? But, like, a video game, like, oh, man. And, like, the video, the movie, like, controls your eyes at all times. Like, you can't run off and explore. You can't be like, oh, what a cool-looking area, and run around and explore it. Like, in a game, like, you have to be able to take that into account, that people are going to run around and, like, do their best to, like, throw themselves into every corner of your game, and you have to make sure it holds up. Exactly. Lemon Z. You can't just, yeah. That the other medium, exactly. There's very few other mediums where you can really interact with art the way you can with a video game. Oh my gosh, did I miss that? Can't I did. Did no no what? How did I miss that one? I like walked right past it. What the heck? Come back. I thought I got the one that was up there that was by yeah, there was I thought there was one by the ocularium up there. 
Oh man. Like the use of the Last of Us Ronland. You get very emotionally invested in them in the video games. You do. How do you want to be remembered, Cassandra? Wow, they're just chatting a lot. Valiant yet sexy rebel against the status quo. <laughs> I don't have any control over how I'll be remembered. Sword raised high, <laughs> scarf dramatically fluttering in the wind, sun rising behind you. Blue scarf. Why would I be wearing such a thing? <laughs> it's a painting, of course. Work with me, it'll be fantastic. <laughs> Dorian and Cassandra are the best. Cassandra's just so blunt and like, what? I, I don't understand. <laughs> She's just like, I don't, I don't really care about any of the things that you care about. I don't know, not like quite like that, but like, they're just completely different, and yet they get along. They get along really well. Um. I heard The Last of Us was a real thinker. I watched the beginning of it and I cried. It was a very sad. I got tear. I got teary eyed. What quest am I doing? Well, basically, I was doing the Venatori one, where I wanted to get these guys up here. But I guess I oh, because I, I didn't. Oh, okay, that's right. I didn't go get the. Uh, I didn't go down. I didn't go down the like walkway they created. I remember now. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm kind of trying to take out the Venatori out here. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I might have maxed Dorian's approval out. I'm not sure, because I've been killing Venatori, and he hasn't really th been saying anything. But... Let's see, where... Let's see, I mean, I'll, I guess I'll grab that on the way. What? There's another one? I mean, I knew these three pillars areas had- I, I only kind of remember the one, though. Oh well. I hope she gets a cameo in the next game wearing a blue scarf! That would be awesome! Oh man. No! Okay, sweet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so much for them not chatting. It just, I don't know. Like, they just started chatting a lot recently, all of a sudden. When you create, the problem is you need to please others, not yourself. Yeah. You can't just do what you want in a game you have to think about like the people who will play it and that's the thing with Bioware games is I feel like Bioware gives you a lot but a lot of times people just ask for more 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 like give me you know give me more of what I want and it's like well this is a game that like millions of people will be playing and I think they do a fantastic job of giving you as much freedom of creation as possible but it's not it can't it, you can't make a game for everyone you know it would be impossible so there's always that to worry about. Life is strange is very compelling. Is what you said, Frog Raider? You played it? I'm not, I've seen of it, but I haven't played it. It seems seems very like a like a telltale game, sort of. But it it, it I, I've heard it's actually quite absorbing. Like a lot of people didn't think they'd be into it. Really liked it. Yeah, Last of Us, that's true. Last of Us is a PlayStation exclusive, so I'll never ever play it. Oh, Dorian only proves if it's his own quest mark Venatori and he doesn't need to be in the party. Yeah, I've noticed that Bull would approve too. I took him out occasionally and he would approve of like any random... When I was in Crestwood, Dorian and Bull approved of any Venatori I killed and I was like, okay. <laughs> It gets very intense. Oh shoot, Frog Raider! You even finished it because it gets really. Oh man. Is there a fox that's mad at us? Um, dang, that doesn't. I mean, that sounds like good, but also like ah. <laughs> like I probably would not be able. To, I'd be like, oh my gosh, my heart can't take this anymore. 
No. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I need to play Tales from the Borderlands for real. It just kind of seems like a big shooty fest, which you know I can totally get behind. Blackwall will approve of any dark spot. Yeah, I take him to the Storm Coast sometimes to to do killing of the things. Um, I actually I don't have a PS3. Unfortunately, or PS4, and I'll probably never get one because I have this little PC thing now, and I think exclusives are just weird. I'm like, why would you do that? It just seems like you don't want money. How odd. Just wanted to get down fast. Yeah, I didn't want to get down fast. Hello, Barrett Green. Were you here before? I think I think you might have been. Well, you have the little special thing, little special sign on your on your name. Welcome. <laughs> That's the last of them here. Oh! An excellent watchtower. With a strong pair of eyes, you could spot a mouse crossing the sand. <laughs> Inquisition could use this place then. Yay! We did a good thing! Oh yeah! <laughs> did you see that? That arrow pointed basically at that guy's crotch. In the in the thing that in the thing. In the picture. Is there anything else? Nope, nope. Shut up about the the things. You're still special. Heck yeah. You just played the wolf among us, Seshu? Ah, that's the one. <gasps> Wait. Ah, <laughs> Lemon Z, it makes me feel sad. Sony is banning mods from the PS4? What? What? That seems really stupid. I don't know. I, 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 I am just really upset with console markets in general right now i don't know i'm i'm a console pleb at heart but they just are being so stupid right now i don't know it's weird it's just weird the wolf among it yeah i actually really wanted to play that because i really like um another thing i was researching in school was um uh, like fairy tale type stuff, um, like fairy tale, like Grimm's fairy tales, and sort of I act, I, I did a paper on fairy tales and video games, like sort of like um how. Oh, I can't even remember. It was it was part of my thesis, and I kind of just was like ah after I wrote it. It was very long, arduous. Spent a year writing it, but I think there's stuff up if you climb this. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. But the Wolf Among Us looked really cool. I really wanted to... I wanted to play that. As like a... I, I, like, I like different interpretations of fairy tales. And legends and myths and stuff like that. I think they're cool. Yeah. But... It's like... Shoot, I mean, they've been, like, major excavating on this thing. How do, I, how do I get down? Oh. You put the tomb right in front of it. Another bottle. Yay! Yeah, the art style. The art style is what first kind of caught my eye on the Telltale on the Wolf of the Wolf of Us. <laughs> the Wolf Among Us. The art style is very distinct for the Telltale games, and it's cool. I like it. I definitely like it. But the Wolf Among Us looked really interesting, specifically to me. 
Where's the... We gotta go down, or... We might have to go down. Ah! This kind of reminds me of the Jaws of a Con DLC with the, with the tree forts that we get. Rock Top Bridge. Yeah, you play the Big Bad Wolf. I, I liked it. I, I started watching somebody play it once, but they started making decisions that I didn't really... that I wouldn't have done, so I stopped watching. That's the thing we I think Eddie gets in. What? For reals? This is where Blackwall and Cole talked, where, where Cole was saying something about the flowers. Blackwall was throwing flowers <gasps> to remember somebody, because it was like her birthday or something? I remember that. I do. I remember that. That was that was very interesting. Bad wolf! Ah! <laughs> Not that bad wolf. That would be really cool though. Well, Solus, where's the freaking elven artifact at? Hmm, is it like down way down below us? Oh, there it is. All right, cool. Yeah, he seems like he's not a bad guy. Like Good. he seems like he's that should help strengthen the vein. struggling with his nature or whatever as the wolf. It was just really cool. Like I like the I like the look of it for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh sweet. Okay, I was actually wondering if I was gonna get that 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 quest from Solas, the measuring the veil thing. All right, good. Because, I don't know, like, with the, with the solace and with the measuring the veil thing, I'm just really curious if that's going to play into the next game at all. Because it seems like, for somebody who made the veil, he's doing his best to, like, research it? Ow. But he's also, like, I don't know if it's actually benefiting him if we do that. Or if it will help us, maybe, in the end. Oh, you're still, what? You're still alive? Goodbye. I don't know. Whoa. Excuse me. The air strips the throat. That was soulless. <laughs> Excuse me, the air strips the throat. <laughs> I think I did, with, I don't know if it was with him or with, with, with Talon or with another character, I was in the still ruins and uh, he said something like, I was in a place like this once, I almost died from lack of water. I was, I was like, what? <laughs> For reals? Black Wads on Josephine. Oh, if you take him out with Cole and Vivian enough, maybe that's who he was giving flowers to. No, I think he's actually remembering somebody who died. The way that Cole said it, it was like she, he, every year he would put flowers out for her birthday like, and he was throwing them over the battlements basically to kind of remember somebody in some way. Like somebody, like a, like a girl who had died when he was younger or something. Remember the Kunari warrior? <gasps> you got her with black wool? Oh, I'm glad. Oh, Ash, that's good. I'm glad that would be so interesting. I don't know, like, I just never really thought about Blackwall being with a Canari, but then like I, it, you, like you mentioned it, and a couple other people have, could have mentioned it, and I'm just like, oh, that's true. Like you can, you can, you can romance Blackwall with a Canari. That's cool. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, you can get the DLCs soon. I'm really, really, really like it's been. Company of Wolves. Film from 1984. Ah! <laughs> Night. Nice. Yeah, no, for sure. The, what is it? The Company of Wolves. I will remember that. Who is here? Nice frog raider. Yeah, no, frog raider frog raider is, is cool. He's cool. 
They can, they can definitely, they offer that, and I would totally, that's really nice of them. You can get the DLC gifted, I think that's, I didn't even know you could do that, like, I think, uh, but I, I heard about it a while ago, but. It's a real, that's a really cool thing. Whoa, he just did something really cool, apparently. Time slowed down for a minute. I really like the rifts out here and the hissing waste because they're like super intense looking. Like look at all these like stones that have been affected by like the rift, the fade magic. It's cool. Oh sweet, Cassandra died, but Zola brought her back. Oh no, Dorian! There's Dorian! Oh my gosh, there's a demon! Demons everywhere! <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many demons! Ah! No, I tried to jump! I tried to jump! No, get off me! Give me, give me, give me, give me! Excellent! That was sort of worked. Shoot! Perfect, got your back, Cassandra! Is there another one? Floating around? Is there, is there a demon floating around somewhere? It's acting like there is. Okay, there we go. They had sound and color back then in 1984. Yeah, I guess. I guess they did. Yeah, that's really, that's really cool. That's really cool of you, Frog Raider. That ends up working out. Oh, I need my water. Hello, creature! You got Solus. Oh, come on! That was totally flank damage. Gimme, gimme. Where's the royal sea silk? I haven't been getting royal sea silk. I want to fight. What's the? Oh, I guess I'll get that one. And then I want to go fight. I want to go fight this legendary beast. I don't know if it's the dragon or not. I can't remember. I, I never fought the hissing waste dragon. I'm like well and good enough level to uh, to fight most of the dragons. I think now. Oh, this is the one that's out, like, way out by this, by the statue that's on the treasure map. Way over there. Nice. I hope that works out for you, Ashley. DLC are great. They're freaking, they're freaking great. I mean, Trespasser is basically essential. To get to finish the story, which is lame. Lame as you can get, but. It's a good DLC, still. And Descent's cool, and Jaws of the Cod's awesome. My favorite. Yay! Where's the. There's the statue guy. Nope, nope, not gonna go. Not gonna go out there. I'm gonna go down here. Okay. Supplies replenished. Hey, you have learned levitation. Good for you. Dispatch for you. Nope, don't want it. I feel really bad about that. I, I always feel bad about not acknowledging the requisition orders. Happy for you. Yay. That is. That's really nice. It's cool when everybody's just like, hey, here's a cool thing. Have it. I like that. I don't know. It's cool. It's fun. That we're all like, this is just a cool thing. You should have this. You should totally have this. And then you get it. It's the best. I wish I could have a different bow. I mean, this bow is cool, but it's not as pretty as the spiked longbow. I think that's what it was. 
Hey, I am going to murderize you. Bye. No hard feelings, yo. Unless you don't give me any loot, you lame. Oh, there we go. Cassandra's just friggin' going to town on these things. I'm a little bit worried with her being my only front man, but she's been doing great so far. Bay touched lurker scales, excellent. That looks that looks kind of like a like a Dalish Aravel, just like a piece of one. What's that? What's that? Okay, I wish I could go a little faster. That just, uh... Oh! Some part of a ruin. Alright then. Now, I actually, I need, I would like to finish the main quest in this area because I've never done it. Like, I did the Venatori, I guess the Venatori one was basically the main quest, but the Ferial thing, I want to finish because I kind of want to know what, what, uh... Corypheus is looking for out here. <laughs> 